for setting up our GraphQL client with Apollo, let's overview our folder structure and um, our main endpoint. So we have a router here from React Router DOM and we use Auth0 wrapper. I won't dive deep into what uh, Auth0 wrapper does, but the main thing is after you log into Auth0, you will be provided with an authentication token. This authentication token will be passed to app.js over here. So basically, whenever we set up our GraphQL client now, we will already have the token. So um, all our app will be only for authenticated users. Let's start setting things up. So first of all, we need to install a bunch of dependencies, Apollo client, React Apollo, location memory, link HTTP, GraphQL, and GraphQL tag. Apollo is um, Apollo client basically um, is sort of like abstraction layer for um, connectivity to GraphQL. So you don't need to worry how to construct your queries. Um, Apollo client does that for you. You don't need to worry how to pass them, how to configure headers, uh, stuff like that. So let's install our, uh, all our dependencies. Meanwhile, while our dependencies ins are installed, let's bring a bunch of these dependencies into our code. So we need to add Apollo client from Apollo client. We need to import in memory cache. Apollo client comes with its own caching solution. There are several um, versions of cache. You can use in memory, you can use uh, Apollo cache persist to persist your cache to local storage. We need to bring HTTP link from Apollo link HTTP. And we need to bring Apollo provider from React Apollo. Let's see our installations completed. Okay, that's fine. Now what we need to do when we brought all of these dependencies, we need to create our Apollo client. So let's call this function create Apollo client and we will it will get auth token we will pass it in a in a second and it will return a new Apollo client with link property for link property will we will use HTTP link and provide it with uh, our GraphQL endpoint URL. It will be learn Sura IO GraphQL. Now it's not all. We need to provide headers, right? Because we're talking about authentication, we need to provide authorization header, which will be bearer auth token that we pass over here now in addition to that in addition to our link we need to add cache it will be new in memory cache and that's about it so we created our create apollo function now what we need to do here in our app is create our client, Apollo client. So we pass create Apollo client function uh, and we pass our auth token with uh, auth.id token. That's particular, uh, th that's how it's passed from auth0, so that's why you should use id token. Now, whatever we return here, we need to basically wrap in Apollo provider. 
So we need to pass Polo Provider and pass it a client property and wrap everything with it. Now let's save and look that everything is working. Don't have errors in console. Looks fine. Now, why would do we need a Apollo provider? Because we will use our um, Apollo client inside our components, inside everything um, under Apollo provider. So basically, Apollo provider puts our client on context, and we can reference that from uh, our inner component.